Yeah, it's a breakfast club, bitches. Who's donkey of the day today? Yeah, donkey of the day for Tuesday, January 21st goes to a man named Barry Lee Jones. Now, Barry Lee Jones was arrested and charged with simple assault and disorderly conduct. I know what you're thinking. Who did this grown man slap on the ass the way Odell Beckham Jr. did in order to get this simple assault and disorderly conduct charge? Well, there was no ass slapping, okay? No Odell. Let's go to WMFY News 2 for the report to find out what he did, though. Parents stormed the mats at Kannapolis High School just seconds after a tackle that came out of nowhere. Let's take another look at this video sent to us by a viewer. Two students are wrestling when one, a Southeast Guilford student, brings down the other wrestler on the mat. And as you see right there, the referee makes a call, but one parent, of course, runs down and tackles the Southeast student. Kannapolis police say that man is Barry Lee Jones. He's been charged with simple assault and disorderly conduct. Police say his son, a student athlete at Hickory Ridge High School, was fighting in that match. Luckily, police say the student who was tackled was not injured. Uh, Barry Lee Jones, a concerned father, was attending his kid's wrestling match. Mm -hmm. His kid gets slammed to the floor by his opponent, so his daddy rushes out and tackles his child's opponent. Uh, and I am a father of three beautiful young princesses, and I believe that my job as a father is to protect and provide. So I understand a father's natural instinct to want to protect his seed. But there is a thing called context, okay? And in the context of this situation, Barry Lee Jones was dead wrong. It's a wrestling match. Physical combat, okay? Sanctioned violence. In a wrestling match, it's a great chance your child will be slammed to the ground. That's the whole point of the sport. Barry Lee, you knew that before you got there, all right? So for you to be upset, pissed off, or even feel like you have to go in protection mode because your son got slammed is insane to me. Your child got slammed, so what? Make him do more push-ups. Make him lift more weights. Go to dietary resolutions and order him some sea moss. Order him some male balance, too, while you at it, all right? Tackling your child's opponent is not going to keep him from getting slammed again, all right? Daddy can't always come to the rescue, so if he got slammed, so what? Dust yourself off and try again. How are you going to teach your kids to move off strategy and not emotion if you're not practicing what you're preaching? Now, I want to know, because this situation could have ended badly, where was his opponent's daddy? All right, his opponent's daddy should have whipped his ass, okay? That's the problem with situations like this, all right? You know, uh, Barry, you so caught up in emotion that you forgot your child's opponent has a daddy too. So how would you react, Barry, if you saw some adult just tackling your child? Okay, we saw how you reacted when your child got slammed in a wrestling match by another kid. So imagine if the shoe was on the other foot and you were the opponent's father and you watching your child get tackled by some random adult. I don't think you would react too, too kindly to that, Barry Lee. Okay, now you're charged with simple assault and disorderly conduct. And I don't feel sorry for you at all. Uh, Envy disagrees. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, he does. See, I'm going to say it like to see. There's, okay. a lot, there's a lot that you left out. <clears throat> what did I leave out? Yes, they were in a wrestling match, yes. right? And there's certain things, I mean, you don't have a son, but uh -huh. my son wrestles, used to wrestle. And there's certain moves that you can't do that's not allowed. Nobody said that move was illegal, though. He threw the kid on his head. But they said it wasn't illegal. When did they say that? You said it was illegal, but I, I read nowhere that they said it they was illegal. They threw the kid, look, look, throw it on his head. That kid could be paralyzed. It's a wrestling match. Not to, not, <laughs> don't, don't throw my son on his head. It's a wrestling match. Don't throw my son on his head. Please he please let Remy Ma give Barry Lee Jones the biggest hee haw. Hee haw, hee haw, you stupid mother. And they said the dumb. kid wasn't hurt. No, he was I, not hurt. I haven't read anywhere where they say that was an illegal move. He wasn't hurt. I seen he was hurt. But even the even the ref after he did it, that ref held his head like, oh my gosh. Like, yes, because it's wrestling. Just like in boxing, sometimes you see a punch that hits a boxer, like, and the ref is like, oh, are you watching football and nah. you get somebody gets tackled and, and you're like, oh. And we don't know if this was the first time that happened or if he did that before. You don't know what made that father do that. As a father who ran on a court before because okay. somebody has did something foul to my son, I don't have no problem with it. Okay. And if the daddy wants, if daddy wants five minutes, daddy could get five minutes too. So if the daddy tackles your son, right, and then that person, the, the kid's son, comes in there with a pistol and pistol whips you. See, you always Everybody, go Exactly. Exactly. Go I, knew you go I knew you was going to say that. I knew you was going to say that. Okay. So, and gun, so, and grenade, so, uh, and rocket launcher. And adult tackled my kid. I don't know how I'm going to react, so why is that too far? But don't drop my but, son on his head. But, but, but Barry Lee didn't go too far. Why do you think it's too far for me to retaliate for you tackling my child, but you don't think Barry Lee went too oh, far? Oh, so if you slam my kid on the head and, he, and my kid's paralyzed, it's I'm supposed a, to just sit there and watch? It's a wrestling match. You're not supposed to slam well, Fortunately, he's not paralyzed. Yeah. Thank God. Yes, and as a parent, you have to sign a <laughs> waiver for your kid to wrestle anyway. Because things like that happen in wrestling matches. They don't slam my kid on his head. Oh, my God. My kid could die, break his neck, be paralyzed. Well, you shouldn't be wrestling then if that's the way you feel.
No, but gotta, it is a, it is a very, it is a very dangerous. Rules. It is a very dangerous yes, sport. Yes, absolutely. Just like just like certain football, you're not supposed to hit helmet to helmet. Now, if a kid hits my kid in the helmet on purpose, that I feel is you're gonna on purpose, run out on the field and tackle him. How you know, listen? Helmets to helmets happen all the time, and they be accidents. Mistakes happen, and sometimes they don't be accidents. Sometimes they be on purpose. Well, you going to jail? I can't wait. But you you gonna bail me <laughs> out? No, I'm not. I cannot wait to give you donkey today. <laughs> you think that it was embarrassing to have your dad like run out? I ran on, on the court before. Is it embarrassing for your son? No, my son ain't say nothing. You ran on the court during a female basketball game, bro? No, my son's basketball oh. game. This kid was this kid was elbowing. I told the ref at first, yo, watch the kid's elbow. He kept elbowing. I told my son if he elbows again, you put him on his ass. And my son put him on his ass, and I ran <clears> on that <throat> court. For what? Don't, don't be elbowing him. And, and, but you said your son put him on the ass. And, and they, they probably Y'all were making jump fun of him at school. Like, <laughs> Y'all going to jump the little boy? Go get your Just daddy. Why don't you get your daddy? Don't mess with the Casey crew. We, we, <laughs> we, all, we all, one, one and all in. Well, you Brooklyn too. You going to jail. It's only a matter of time. That's all right. It's only a matter of time. Context matters, though. That's all I'm saying. It was a wrestling match. Why don't you go get your daddy to come help you? (laughs) Yes, and I'll be there. (laughs) Because when I got into a problem, you know what I got called? My daddy. And my daddy was dead. Well, we saw your pictures, Envy. You needed your dad. Shut up. 800-585-1051. Was this man right for protecting and helping his son, who was almost paralyzed? I don't like how you swing the jury. Because you, swear, cause you jury. said, was this man right? No, was this man wrong for what he did? 800-585-1051 is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. 